so what we're going to do now is make a magic circle, a, you know, one of those sort of illusions for magic to where you have it slipped onto your hand and it looks like it's kind of standing away from it. And I'll show you what it looks like here. But for what we need here is a printout of whatever pattern you're using, preferably a full page or rather just as big as you need it to be. So this is the biggest size I want because it fits my hand. And clear plastic, it's really hard to see on the camera, but you can see it shining. Uh, what I have is, whoops, let me back. Clear lay film, I'm using 0 .007 uh, thickness on it, so it's sturdy enough to hold up on its own without it being too thick and heavy, but then without it just being super flopsy and flimsy everywhere. But if you want something thicker or thinner, that's your discretion, but I think this is the best medium for it. We're also going to need glass puff paint, essentially. You can use glitter, you can use whatever color you want. I need purple for mine. Um, I've seen it look really cool with glow in the dark. Uh, we need scissors, a hot glue gun, and the clear elastic bra straps. And you can buy these at the store. You can go hustle them out of Victoria's Secret if you want. <laughs> yeah. You just go in there and say, hey, I lost them. I'll give you a whole set for free. Or I could buy them in bulk from them or any craft store. But they are strangely versatile. So we'll come back to that in a minute. First, you're going to have your powder and the clear right over it. And this is really easy. It just takes time. So, oh, wow. Good job. And the best part about this is if you have an air bubble, you can just take it off before it dries. So... There we go. I didn't have the air bubble problem before. Sorry. There we go. So starting over, you just fill it in. Following your design. clean off your nozzle constantly. Just make sure it doesn't clump up or it's going to get too thick and messy and you won't have a proper line. a couple of hours just to be on the safe side. It dries pretty fast, but since we're going to be flipping it over. Ta -da. See, how are you looking magical? So, that dry for a little bit and then we'll come back. So here we have 
It's all nice and dry. Sure, how well you can see it, but we're trying. And we have a reflecting, reflecting light. So, it's dry, and we cut all the way around it as close as we could, so. Ta-da. Flip it over. And again, I built mine towards the size of my hand. If you have one that's smaller, then you will have yours again, set accordingly. Um, but again, we're just showing hand size right here. So uh, I like working on white paper because that means we're going to mark where my fingers sit. And we don't want to do too many, just a couple of fingers. I recommend the middle and the thumb. If you need to do your ring finger instead, just make sure it's one of these three over here and the thumb so that way it holds out properly. Then we're going to take a nice plastic here and this is a sight measure. So we see here, okay, this goes up there. So we need to come over the top of the thumb and to the sides. That way it does this. Same for the finger up here. Like that. And then what you do is, this is so hard to see on the camera, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that the clear plastic would be hard to see on camera, but hey, means no one's going to see it in pictures either. <laughs> so you take one side and you'll hot glue it here. And I find it easiest to make a make a puddle right here of the hot glue, press it in and put more glue on top and around it. I'm a little bit more generous than less because that way it will hold better. So if you need to take some toothpicks and hold it to the side to keep it in, you can. But the glue itself should make the weight enough to where it does it by itself. Same with the other side. There. Again, I don't feel anything anymore ever in the nerves of my fingers. They're all gone. We're even the same over here where the thumb is. So go ahead and do that. dry for a little bit um but when it's done oh also one of those things when you keep it in place if you're using your fingers at all or anything do it on the sides if you press with your finger flat on it it will turn it opaque and make it really obvious through the other side we don't want that so try to keep it as clear as possible but when you're done You'll slide your fingers into it. So you can see from the side, just barely holding it, keeping your other fingers out to give the impression, the illusion that it's coming out from your hand. All right, well, that's a very simple magic circle. And again, you could do all sorts of different things to it. Um, if you wanna make it light up some, you can make the center more opaque. Uh, gluing in a little LED light, uh, stringing along fiber optics. Um, this way, again, it's really cool looking, fairly cheap. I think I spent like $8 on it total, like not even. Um, but you can do, you can customize it any way you want to do this. Is 
your magic. So thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.